You probably noticed that I created an interesting element that you probably few seen, what we call rounding. Here it is. We need to refer back to the figures that I mentioned at the beginning of our class. They are the circle and triangle. But these figures are, have a specific association in our mind. They date long, long time ago. So that's why this uh, reaction on, on them is so strong because it's very deep in our brain. This circle, we have a positive association with a circle. For example, the sun, that was probably the first one because it gives it light, warmth. Physically, it can't hurt us. It's round, no sharpness. It's so strong that even if we want to pay attention to something, ideas, we we'll probably circle them to draw attention and to make them appear positive. Symbolically, the circle represents infinity, perfection, no beginning, no end. The triangle is different. While it's also an ancient figure and that we have strong association with triangles, but it's a very different one. Unlike the circle, it has corners that perceive as sharp. It could be sharp stone, rocks, and weapon, arrows, knives. We'll think about it as something that has a sharpness. And as you can see on, the draw uh, on this drawing, when two lines cross, they create four corners, especially like if they cross like this, the corner like this, and like this. How our look and accordingly perception change. We round them, means we create something, uh, add element of rounding, conjoining. It's like a letter U and we fill it in. Automatically, it changes our perception of this element. So now imagine that if we have an issue that we're working with and it has sharp corners and we draw it and originally the first drawing will be, well, definitely some have some sharp corners. And now we use our hand with a marker and we change it, transform it from sharpness to round. We soften it with this rounding element, a softened, the connection with the drawing, and as it softens our visually, it also softens in our mind. And that's what's done with our hand. Everyone explains that when we draw a neurographica, then we add, add the element of rounding, and it transforms the entire drawing and the look of it and our perception. When you introduce this element into your drawing, make sure that you don't leave like lines like this hanging, you make it a gradual transition. It's okay to make your lines thicker, more impressive. Impression is also important because the neurographic is about changing our perception. Impression, perception, you know, not necessary to exaggerate, but gradual change. So in addition to creating this transforming sharpness into softness, there are two other concept why we're around the corners, it indicates a connection between the lines. Because neurographica, like any other drawing, two dimensions and the lines, as well as uh, imaginary neuropathways that exist in the brain, they're three-dimensional. So when we look like this, we do not know where the lines really cross each other, whether they connect or they're on different planes, which looks like from above they are connected and from a side like they are not connected. So this shows that the lines cross, like our neurons communicate with, the, with each other and finding a solution. The more neurons are involved, the more connections we form, the better we're able to see, to understand that clarity, new ideas, and this creativity. That's what creates creativity, seeing something from a new position. So the more connections we have in relation to a specific issue, or theme in neurographica, the sooner we find the solution or answer, and the better it will be, more harmonious.